Hey there folks, this is Hutch with Freedom in a Can. Now lots of you have been asking, what's up with our Renogy Smart Shunt review? And here's our answer. But if you're like, well, what is a Smart Shunt? The quick answer is that this device can connect any deep cycle battery, regardless of brand or battery chemistry, to the Renogy One wireless solar monitors. Now, there was a lot of excitement about this component because it finally provides the wireless link between older lead acid based batteries and the latest generation of solar off grid system monitors with all their cool remote functions. Now for more on that, see these videos. There was a lot of expectation and while we believe the shunt is living up to it, it's not without some growing pains. We installed this just after Thanksgiving in 2023 and it's been working really well, almost as expected. After updating the firmware manually on our Renogy One core, the smart shunt connected without any problems and has been reporting battery data ever since. Now we connected this into our off-grid system just to see how it would perform. And since we have Renogy Smart LFP batteries, we kept the BT2 module attached. Since then, we've noticed a slight deviation in the state of charge percentages between the two. The shunt reports slightly higher percentage after a few days, up to 8% which isn't insignificant. So if you're thinking about what battery to go with, we'd recommend a smart LFP with either BT2 module connection or built-in so you can get the most accurate battery data right from the battery monitor system in the battery rather than the shunt, which makes a prediction on state of charge based on the measured voltage. However, if you've already got a lead acid based battery bank or non renogy LFP, the smart shunt is the simplest way to get this kind of monitoring going without dropping a lot of money on a battery upgrade. When connected to the core, we noticed that the smart shunt data doesn't default to the home screen, which means that as of right now, you have to scroll to the shunt on the core to see the battery status. Kind of a pain but this little software glitch is scheduled to be fixed by January 22nd of 2024. So if you're currently experiencing this, be sure to update your firmware after the 22nd. Then each time you tap on the core, it will display the battery status, which is what we all want to know every time we go to the monitor anyway. Now many of you have been wondering why you haven't been able to find these on the Renogy website in the last few weeks, and there's some rumors going around. Here's what we know as of today, January 11th. Currently, the Smart Shunt is being rebranded due to some ongoing trademark issues. It will be re-released as the Battery Shunt 300 rather than the Smart Shunt 300. These issues are still being ironed out, so we don't, as of yet, have a re-released date. Stay tuned, and we'll let you know as soon as we do. Finally, an update on compatibility. Currently, the Shunt is only compatible with the Renogy One Core, not the Renogy One M1. We'd hope that this software fix would be updated by the start of the year, but it's looking more like sometime early this spring. Again, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. When we have a re-release date of the Battery Shunt 300, we'll be doing a more in-depth review of the Shunt, showing you all that it can do. And until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the road.